Morning and welcome to the newest of the new podcasts that will be coming out over the coming year. Joining me as my first guest will be... Andrew Ross. Andrew Ross, thank you very much for coming on my first ever podcast, thank you. And something that's always come up, I think, are video games. Yes. I've talked about it, you've talked about it, people in the group have talked about it. It's a very popular subject in the class. It is a very popular subject in the class. Which isn't overly surprising, as we are in a media production course. Who would have thought? But just go through, maybe you know, pick your brain a little bit, see what you have to say. You know, early thoughts of gaming. What were some of your first games that you remember playing or being involved with from a young age? Oh, I mean, it's a tough one because like, I've obviously of like a slightly older generation, some in yeah. some of the class. So as I keep getting reminded. Um, Probably a lot of mostly like PS2 games. Right. Okay. Okay. So like I used to play like the old like old wrestling games. You know your yeah WWE type WWE, deal. Exactly. Yeah. You know, Simpsons Hit and Run was a particular that classic. Was, that is a classic game. Yeah, it's an absolutely brilliant game. Um, yeah, just so many. There was a lot of random games like Harry Potter as well. Yeah, there's those random games, but like, the old, really, really bad looking ones. Yeah, it's but so fun. They were a lot of fun. Though. Yeah, they were. They really were. It's uh, vaguely remember I had a PS One myself a little bit. Um, I did I, play a bit on the PS One. Yeah, I think yeah. I, I can't remember if it was my dad's or my brother's, but yeah, I think I actually broke it. I mean, <laughs> as you do, you yeah, were probably I t- young. I, I took the little rotating thing that spins the disc round. Yeah, yeah. I think I pulled it out. I don't think they were best happy with me. I wouldn't have thought so. Surprisingly <laughs> enough, uh, PS One game that I remember vividly was um, Lego Kart Racing. Lego kart racing. Surprisingly, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Looking back to now, so many, many better games. The graphic, the graphics weren't as great, but they weren't. I mean, it was the, it was the gameplay itself that was just groundbreaking at the time. Yeah, that was just that's like, what was made. Obviously, they had to go and put more effort into the game itself because how the games looked, they couldn't perform to how they can perform now. Yeah, so obviously. Yeah, I mean, at the time, you thought that was the you couldn't get any better than that. Yeah, and now you look at modern day game and it's just ridiculous. It's phenomenal. Um, so that question actually kind of pulls into the second one, which I was uh, going over. You know, early, early consoles that you had. Obviously, you mentioned that you had PS One and a PS Two. Yep. Was there any like that you had just yourself? <clears throat> Probably. Again, I was mostly sharing my brothers, but PS Two was definitely the first one that. Like I remember, yeah, most vividly. But I mean, I would sometimes go around to a friend's house. It was actually my cousin's house, and we used to play the Nintendo sixty four. I can't remember if I've ever played that. Yeah. I mean, probably at some point. It was very popular, and one of the most popular games on it was um, the James Bond game, Goldeneye. Oh, that was a I used to play that with my friends. That was Amazing so much game. fun, and yeah, that was that. That's probably they're the two main consoles I remember best, probably. Yeah. Um, Definitely at the earliest stage, but I mean, obviously you go throughout. You got like PS3 and Xbox 360. Xbox 360 was brilliant for it me. Was like me and I had that too. Got it for my Christmas. I was told by my parents, "You're going to share this with your sister." <laughs> my sister didn't care, so I got it to myself. I was, I was a happy, I was a happy young laddie, as as the oldens now say. Uh, are there any games that you know? that you enjoy playing, which were criticised. These uh, games which you saw, this is all right, but were hated by the masses. Uh, I wouldn't say hated by the masses, but I know that, I mean, for example, I loved um, Last of Us 2. Last of Us 2, okay. Like, I know, even though it is a phenomenally popular franchise, it, it, did, it was well received by a lot of people, but I know that it did receive a lot of criticism for the story right, choices okay. um even though i think everyone could agree the gameplay was phenomenal i wouldn't know i've never actually played any of the last of us you games haven't. i haven't oh. uh i know it's a shameful thing to admit oh. but i'm afraid it is unfortunately true yeah you definitely need to get get yourself on there but it's yeah the, the, i thought that i thought it was definitely a harshly treated decision they went with the story that a lot of people didn't like and yeah but it's, apart from it does receive a lot of hate yeah as well as being like probably one of the best games I've ever played, okay. but yeah, it's, okay. I thought it's quite a brave decision they went with the story. 
because a lot of people would be scared to do something like that because because of, of the backlash. Okay. Okay. But I thought it was I thought it was very brave. So it was a very good game. Okay. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're both big fans of other media, not just video games like films and books. Yes. Are there any interpretations of those other media that you find in games which you enjoy? It's like a, a They've made a game of, let's say, I don't know, Fast and Furious, or is there anything like that which you thought, this is an okay game, or this isn't great, or what I, were they thinking? I don't know, but I'd say the, the one that stood out most to me was probably The Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, okay. I remember I'd obviously seen the film first, and then I played the game, which usually in these things you expect it to be a completely different story or just a re- like retelling, telling, telling, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, telling the yeah. story again in the in the game but what they actually did was they set it showed the after the events after the movie okay which I found quite interesting because it sort of like expanded on the story yeah, that's good yeah um, but yeah it was, I was, think it was I mean you play like again likes of Casino Royale yeah Quantum of Solace the, those kind of James Bond games yeah it's a uh... If only they made remade those games now, yeah, I'd be uh, a I'd be a happy happy man. Is there a particular game or game franchise out there that you've aimed to completely, one hundred percent? I thought you know what I'm going to do everything achievable in this game. I think it would have to be Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I absolutely love that franchise so much. But it's gone a bit downhill more recently, but um, I definitely think like Assassin's Creed. Two and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, the Ezio games, where they're the actual Assassin's Creed Two and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood are the only two games I've actually platinumed. Okay, cool. Um, I tried to get Revelations done to complete the trilogy, but I think the game sort of glitched out in a certain way. So, yeah. but I was I I I've played those games so many times since they came out, and I just I I probably never stop playing them either. Yeah. One yeah. of my friends is going through all the Assassin's Creed games, trying to completely 100% them all. All right. Um, I want to get him sectioned, <laughs> to be honest. Because <laughs> no, uh, it's... Absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. It's, <laughs> um, I thought I'd try and consider doing four, Black Flag. Yeah. Try and complete that. I gave up after like two weeks. There was so much in it. Such a big game. It is a it's, big game. It's... Um, and it's a, well, it's a feathers from two. You have to go and collect like a hundred feathers. Yeah, I did that. How <laughs> how painful? Yeah, I mean, I had to use a YouTube video to find out where they all were and that. Nice. But um, no, I, it, it was more the one thing I never done Assassin's Creed Two and Brotherhood was to collect all the chests because oh, it's yeah. a ridiculous amount and it doesn't actually you don't really have to do it. Yeah, but it's yeah still phenomenal games. Yeah. Is there a particular franchise or game which you prefer to others or that's, are you just kind of relatively happy playing anything that pops up and you're recommended? Uh, I'm quite... I do have a certain, certain style of games yeah. I go for. I mean, like, I'm, I play a lot of FIFA. I play okay. a lot of Call of Duty. Um, obviously, Assassin's Creed. Uh, so... Most of my games are fairly like the same. Like yeah, there's not a lot same. of like new projects I'll play. Like I mean, the most recent one was probably Ghost of Sh Ghost of Tsushima. Easy for me yeah, to say. Yeah, I've heard of that. Not yeah. played it though. Um, that was kind of like a new project, and I heard it was okay. really good, and the gameplay looked very interesting. So I thought I'd give that a wee go, and um, it turned out to be one of the best games I've ever played. There we go. Um, but yeah, you you. Keep, you tend to stick to the same sort of script yeah, when it comes to don't. video games like you play like GTA means you'll play Red Dead um, you play like God of War Yeah, I started playing that I thought it was a bit slow to start but once I got into it I thought it was absolutely incredible I have attempted to get into Elden Ring Elden Ring I say tried <laughs> didn't get very far yeah I've heard, uh, that, I've heard that's very very difficult yeah, game and it is supposedly one of the easier games out of the Souls franchise. All right. See, so. that's a that's a genre that's never really interested. That sort of like medieval, yeah, magic sort of. It's um. Also, I played a lot of Skyrim, so I thought, oh, if I try and get into the easy one of these games, yeah, 
it'd be fine. Yeah, that didn't really work out much, <laughs> to be honest. Which is a shame because it's a good, it's a good looking game. It's nice. It's not, not, not for you. Yeah, pretty yeah. much, pretty much. Um, and are you a single or multiplayer type of man? I think I'd probably have to say single player. Single player, okay. Yeah, I think that video games definitely deserve more credit for the stories they create. Yeah, definitely. Like, I think all the storytelling goes to like obviously. I mean, there's the obvious one like books and film yeah. and television, but video games can create a just beautiful story just Completely. as well as them. Yeah. Um, obviously, it, it makes it's almost more immersive because you control the characters. Yeah. Um, but yeah, games like Last of Us, for example, is probably one of the best story-driven games I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, multiplayer, it can be good, but also it depends who you play with. It yeah. depends. Obviously, there's a lot you have to rely on, like, I know it sounds strange, but like internet, for example, and yeah, you know, where story driven is just you're far more relaxed and you can just enjoy it by yourself, yeah, and just get lost in the world. You've own little, own little world, yeah, and you can, you know, it's like listening to a podcast, exactly. You can put your headphones on, chill out, do what you're doing, and and enjoy life, exactly. And I, and I do hope those listening to this podcast have enjoyed it I'm sure they I did. hope you've enjoyed spending time with me I most definitely oh, have you're, you're such a kind considerate soul thank you and I hope one day you can you can return to this podcast and we can have a different topic to discuss or maybe a different form of media so all all the listeners of this podcast thank you very much for joining us on the very first episode of this podcast which I didn't come up for a name for because I'm an idiot. Thank you very much and good night. Goodbye.